Hey guys, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, and we are in my little home garage today working on my engine again. So the last episode you saw, I kind of did a compression test uh, and tore some things apart just to see <clears throat> what it looked like. Uh, I, there was a bunch of comments I didn't, never done a compression test on an engine that's been sitting for so long. A few people commented that squirt some oil into the cylinders. So I have very high confidence that this engine has really, really good compression based off of uh, a few of the cylinders had probably 110 pounds of compression. So today what we're gonna do is, uh, it has a fiber timing gear in the front that is broken. So I need to pull the cam to replace it because it is a press on style. So changing the cam, I might as well put an aftermarket cam in it, some adjustable lifters and have a little bit of thump. So to do that, I gotta take the heads off. So taking the heads off, we'll check for cracks. Uh, we'll flip it over, clean out the bottom, uh, clean out the oil pump. I have a new screen for the pickup for the oil pump. We'll try and clean some more of the sludge out of here. So it's gonna be a very oily, oily episode. Figured while my frame and uh, body is over at Matt's and we're working on that, I can work on this here and try and get some things ready to go. So when the car is ready to come back here to have some of the mechanical work done, engine's ready to go and drop in. So let's pop these heads off and see what we're working with. So this block definitely has a lot of crud in it. I'm glad I'm pulling the heads. So this, oh man, look at all this gunk in here. Yeah, these, this engine I'm going to have to take it outside and really clean it out good. Yeah, bud. You got a tape measure. It's broken. Oh, the clip fell off. I might be able to fix it. Can I see it? Not right now, I'll fix it in a little bit. Okay. All right. Uh, what are you doing? Taking this engine apart. How are you taking the engine apart? Because I'm going to be building this, buddy. Do you want to help me take it apart more? No. No? Because I, I don't have my shoes on. Oh, you don't have your shoes on? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you can help me in a little, in a, another day, okay? Alright, so I grabbed the specialty tools from Matt. Popped one out already. Just to see how it was going to go. But, this should go pretty easy. Now that I kind of know the secret handshake from doing it with Matt. Uh, what are you doing outside? What are you, what are you doing in your garage? I'm Dad? working on this engine. Yep, I'm just taking it apart. And I'm filming it. Can you say hi to YouTube? I can't just say it. Can you say hi hi YouTube? Hi uh, hi Tubi. Hi Tubi. All houses are all dirty. Yeah, they're all dirty. They're all greasy. Greasy? Yeah. How are greasy? It's an old engine. Daddy has gloves on. 
So my hands don't get all dirty. There. I don't know how many rubs on. Okay. Ready? <gasps> ah, Let's try this one. No, that one's out. Watch out, don't touch anything. It's all oh, pretty dirty. Yeah. That one's out. There we go. Hey, don't, don't. Take that out of there so you don't knock the camera over. Thank you. So, use this valve guide puller tool that's quite easy to use. Just hooks onto the valve right below the guide, right over the top of the valve itself. So, when it goes shooting out, it doesn't shoot across the shop. Oh, there, just felt it pop. Now. Oh yeah? yeah. And after this we'll pull all of the lifters out. Try to get the cam out. Yeah. Try and turn the engine over. Yeah. Okay. So how do I put it up? How do I put it up, Dad? All the valve boards look good, which is Careful, careful. All right, so that's done. So we'll take all these out. These are getting trashed because they have split valve guides and a like a mushroom top valve. So what happens is they have to be split to go over the mushroom top, but when you get a higher lift cam with a little bit heavier springs, these actually tend to split. So these will not be used. I will be getting uh, 8BA, uh, APA used um, straight stem valves Two. with one piece valve guides. So I will be using them Neat. in this engine. Don't come up and see the camera. Hold on. Okay. All right, so we're gonna pull, don't touch, leave it alone. I'll leave it like that. Okay, pulling the timing cover off. We're gonna pull the cam out. Since I have a replacement cam. Yeah, what are these buttons, Dad? I don't know what those buttons do. Can you please don't touch them? I don't touch them. Put a button away. No, don't push the buttons. I'm saying put bubble. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a bubble can put a button in it. Uh, uh, really? I've worked on this thing. A little busy. Things got in the way. But uh, I'm having problems getting the cam out of it. One of the things that kind of stopped me the last time I worked on it. So I just pulled the flywheel off. And I'm going to take this oil pump plate off the back of where the drive gear is for the oil pump off the cam and tap the cam forward. Uh, she doesn't seem to want to move, but sometimes they get stuck back here. I had to take the flywheel off anyway, because this has a dished early flywheel. Um, I would like to, I have to look at the warehouse, see if we have any extra 59 AB flywheels. So I would like to put one of them on here, a little less weight on the back of the motor, because these dished flywheels are insanely heavy and I can run a 10 inch clutch. I 
Oh, doofus. <clears throat> Still needs a There we go. Stock cam is out. So basically now, now that this is out, I can work on assembling the valve train, lapping the valves, and start putting her back together. Someone lighting the crap out of it. There's a bunch of weight taken out of it. <laughs> Found it at the warehouse. <clears throat> Matt said he would probably not use it because most of the stuff he would run would have a lightning flywheel <clears throat> or a, I shouldn't say a lightning, would have an aluminum flywheel. So he had no interest in it. So I got it. Now I do need to order a pilot bushing slash bearing, but for the meantime, I at least get this bolted on and I can just tap one in once.
All right, so the engine is back together. There's a few things I need to finish up. Um, that's kind of just last minute stuff. I bought these coupling nuts and cut them down thinking they would work. Um, they're a little too tall still, it kind of looks goofy. Uh, I need to trim them some or have Matt like help me and weld uh, little studs in the in, into the nut so I can mount the um, generator bracket. Um, I need to figure out what I'm doing for a fan. Uh, I was thinking about running a cut down stock uh, 34 generator, one of these, because the fan would have mounted to the generator. That'll put the fan in a um, pretty much their correct location for a 34. Don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I have a 59AB fan, but I have a short crank. These earlier engines had a shorter snout on the front of them. Um, so you can't bolt that on. You have to make like a spacer and run a longer crank bolt, which I'm not sure if I want to do or not. So just little things I need to figure out. Um, I'm going to take my Strombergs. They're at the shop right now. Uh, Steve's been working on them. The master Stromberg tech has been rebuilding them. So those will go on here. I ordered some linkage. Just some, some last minute things. Oh, I need to order spark plugs. Don't know why I didn't order them. But last minute things I need to figure out. But I can take this to the shop now. It is back and assembled. Um, there isn't like stuff I need to be doing to rebuild it. I can put this on the run stand and do a little bit of tinkering. Um, and then we can run it and make sure it's not cracked. I didn't see any cracks anywhere. It came out of a running car. Um, the guy ran and said it didn't overheat, but you know how that kind of thing goes. So I'm going to take this off the stand, get it to the shop in the next video, and hopefully Steve and I can get it fired up and running. We'll see how it goes. So thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Catch you later.